Greetings to the viewers of this video. In this video, we will have a look upon the drug, Fluticusin Furot, a corticosteroid medication, primarily used to treat allergic rhinitis. It delivers 27.5 microgram per spray. It delivers totally 120 meter dose. The composition of this spray are as follows Fluticusin Furot, 0.055% weight by weight, Benzolconium Chloride, added as preservative, 0.015% weight by weight. Excipients, quantity sufficient. Fluticusin furot is a synthetic trifluorinated corticosteroid that possesses a very high affinity for the glucocorticoid receptor and has potent anti-inflammatory action, so it is used to treat symptoms of allergy. Next is dosage and administration. The recommended dosage for adults and adolescents that is, 12 years and above, is two sprays in each nostril, once daily. Total daily dose is 110 microgram. For children, between the age of 2 to 11 years, the recommended starting dose is one spray in each nostril, once daily. The total daily dose is 55 micrograms. No dosage adjustment is needed for elderly, hepatic and renal impaired patients. Fluticusin furot is for intranasal use only. Now, let us see special warnings and precautions. The first one is drug interactions. Fluticusin furot is a corticosteroid, metabolized in liver by CYP3A4 enzyme, so, inhibitors of CYP3A4 enzyme, such as ritonavir, ketoconazole, verapamil, erythromycin should not be co-administered with fluticusin furot, because of potential risk of increased systemic exposure. It is particular for high doses. Next is growth retardation. A reduction in growth velocity has been observed in children treated with fluticusin furot, 110 microgram daily for one year. So, children should be maintained at the lowest dose possible. Next is Ocular changes. Potential systemic steroid effect on eyes, central serous chorioretinopathy. It is safer to use in pregnancy and lactation, if used at the recommended therapeutic dose. Adverse drug reactions are as follows. First is respiratory, thoracic and mediastinal disorders. In this case, nasal ulceration and epistaxis are very common. Some of the uncommon effects are nasal dryness, rhinalgia and nasal septum perforation. Next is musculoskeletal and connective tissue disorder. Growth retardation in children. Immune system disorders such as anaphylaxis, angioedema, rash also occur. Headache is very common. Next is pharmacokinetics. Absorption. Fluticusin furot undergoes incomplete absorption and extensive first pass metabolism in liver and gut resulting in negligible systemic exposure. Distribution The plasma protein binding of fluticusin furot is greater than 
metabolism. Fluticusin furote is rapidly cleared principally by hepatic metabolism, to an inactive 17-beta-carboxylic metabolite. Next is elimination. Elimination of this drug is primarily via the fecal route. It is also excreted in urine. If you want to know how to use a nasal spray, check out the video in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.